Don't make these new mistakes in Monster Hunter World. What's up guys, it's Josh again, and I am back for another Monster Hunter video. Today, we are going to jump into some common mistakes and misconceptions about this game. I hope this video can be informative and also entertaining. Let's get started. First off, this game is not a button masher. You're not playing God of War, you're not playing Bayonetta, you're not playing Dynasty Warriors, you're playing Monster Hunter. So with that being said, if you try to just go up to monsters and attack and attack and attack, you're going to absolutely get whooped. The best way to describe the fights in this game is these fights are like a dance and each monster really does have its own unique personality and its own moveset, basically like its own dance. Honestly, the best way to go about this game is almost study the monsters for a little bit, get a feel for them, and then once you get a feel for them and you start kind of dodging accordingly, you're gonna feel how satisfying it is to almost get the opportunities to dance with these monsters, as odd as it sounds. Next noob mistake, do not try to just speed run the story and only do main missions. You're going to hit a wall and then you're going to get frustrated and it's not going to work. This game is made to take advantage of everything it has to offer. So take advantage of the optional quest, take advantage of the investigation, which allow you to get a little more specific in whatever monster it is that you're trying to hunt. And also make sure you're taking advantage of the bounties. All of these things will make the main story missions that much easier, especially when you hit a wall. Next mistake that is super easy to make in this game, to not get too attached to one weapon. Here's why. If you have a weapon that is fire type or water type, you're gonna notice that there are certain monsters that your weapon is extremely strong for, and that's awesome. However, there are also going to be some monsters where your weapon is very ineffective. So it is super important to not get too attached to one weapon and have multiple elemental type weapons available. That way you can pick the best one available for whatever fight that you are about to approach. In this video, you can see I'm fighting a Lava Sloth and I'm using a water-based sword, the Great Dragras too. So that's a good combo. I made the mistake before and used a water sword on an ice boss, an ice monster. And I noticed that basically I just wasted a lot of time and my damage numbers were very low, which was not satisfying. Next new mistake, whenever you get the opportunity, you have to go right to the provision stockpile and buy charms as soon as they are available. There is a charm that boosts your defense and a charm that boosts your offense. You absolutely want this. It's just free defense and free attack numbers. So definitely utilize this. It just takes up two inventory spaces, but it's certainly worth it. Next new mistake that you should not make is make sure that you don't forget about the botanical researcher. This is such an easy way to get free resources passively. So literally just while you're playing, this will collect resources. What I would suggest, what I always do, is that I always have it set to be harvesting honey and herbs. That way, no matter what, I am always getting mega potions because as you guys know, you can never have too many mega potions and they always come in handy. Now this is some really good advice for some noobs and I highly recommend that you guys don't make this mistake. Don't rely too much on multiplayer. This game is amazing and the multiplayer in this game is unreal and the online community in this game is just a blast. But if you are looking to get good at this game and you wanna get a real feel for it and you wanna satisfyingly crush the monsters, honestly, the best way to go about it is take the solo route. Take the time to actually get good without relying on anyone else. Once you do that and then you mesh to multiplayer and you make the move to multiplayer, you're going to have such a better understanding of the game and the way you even work with other players will be a lot better because you took that time for yourself. Last but not least, the most important new mistake that players make is they forget to eat. Make sure you eat. I'm busy, mama. Eating is literally free boost, free attack, free defense, and most importantly, boosted health and stamina. You have to do that. It makes every fight better. Just get in the habit of doing it habitually. That is all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this Monster Hunter video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.